Double X Lux channel. It's your local internet auntie, Auntie Ren, here again with another video. If this is the first time you are gracing us with your presence, hello, darlings, welcome. Settle in. This is going to be a fun one. Haven't done one of these in a really long time. I used to do a lot of tag videos, maybe like last year, what have you, but haven't done one in a little bit. So excited to do this one. So welcome. Hope you enjoy. And if you do, Feel free to watch some more uh, videos. I'll pop a playlist in the iCards for you to check out some more tag videos. If you are a returning darling, hello. Thank you for coming back and checking out another one. Make sure if you do have a YouTube channel or if you're just stopping in on a regular basis to say hello, you sound off in the comment section so I can say hi back. Okay, intros done. So I'm so excited about this. I was not tagged. Or maybe I was and I missed it. I don't know, but I don't think I was tagged. But that has never stopped me from doing a tag video that I like, just, you know, in case. In case you, you didn't know, <laughs> I don't have to be tagged to do the tag. I do the tag anyway. But anyway, so I saw one of my very, very, very good, good YouTube and Instagram friends, Ash, at Ash It Looks. Um, and I will link his car, um, his channel in the iCards. He recently started a YouTube channel. Go over there and support him and give him a shout out tell him that you're visiting from auntie ren's channel and give him some love but he recently did um this tag and it was i think originally done by um connor at uh the closet by connor or connor at the closet so but i will link his channel as well in the icards all of these people are fantastic if you're not following them you should i mean i do so um these are people that i watch on a regular basis i don't know why connor didn't tag me i mean but then, no, I'm teasing. I'm totally teasing. I don't know. Maybe he did, like I said. But anyway, so um, Ash did this tag and I thought it was so cute and so fun. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pop that in on my channel um, one of these days. And this week was a little of a rough week because I think I told you I started the week off getting that um, booster shot. Um, and so, yeah, and everyone in the family got vaccinated or got their boosters or whatever so it was a tough week so it's a little bit of a chill mode so i was like you know what this is a great video to come in and just like end off the week on a good note and bring some positivity and something a little bit fun to the channel so here we go so the premise of this tag is 30 questions it's a luxury raffle tag 30 questions all in here okay so we've all written them down me and my children we've written them down we put them in this little box this is not real so don't get excited this is not a sock box scott box no i did not get one this is designer inspired this is a like a novelty piece so it's not a scott box okay i use this to house my um my louis vuitton not just louis vuitton ones but like my bandos i usually have my bandos in here but i'm using it today for the raffle so we took 30 questions write them down put them in little in this little box we're shaking them up and then we're going to pick 10 randomly excuse me i'm going to pick 10 randomly and answer them um and that's the tag it's a luxury raffle tag so we're gonna get at it and just start picking because you know my videos are long you know af so <laughs> let's keep it moving quickly all right so going in with the first the first one, I don't want them to spill out. There are a lot. Okay, first question is bag you're excited to be released. So the bag that I'm excited to be released right now. Mm, I have been really, really, really excited about the Louis Vuitton Alma BB that's being released in the Damier Azor. And if I can find an image of it, I will put it up so you can get a look at it and see what it looks like. But um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see that. I want to see what that looks like. want to play with it. 
want it in the collection really really excited to see actually you know what louis vuitton has been you know really like um you know pushing my buttons lately so i've been definitely checking out some new things from them excited about a lot of the color and things that they're doing so but yeah the damier azor alma bb that is supposed to be released i don't think it's released as yet i don't think um but yes that's the one i'm really interested in all right that was number one number two it says favorite Chanel leather. So favorite Chanel leather for me would be lambskin. Um, I know everyone usually likes the caviar and they like, you know, I don't, I don't mind the goat skin. I don't mind that. That's nice too, but I do love the lambskin. I think that that's what my Chanel bag is. It's the lambskin leather. I think that it just looks so beautiful. It's so soft. It's so supple. Yes, I know it's a bit more high maintenance, but who's not high maintenance? Like, I'm high maintenance, so I, don't, I try not to judge. <laughs> so, but I love it. Yeah, so mine would be the um, lambskin leather. All right, let's shake it because I didn't shake it that time. Okay, all right, that's enough. Okay, um, number three, we got to keep track here. So you guys have to keep me honest. So number three is Gucci or Prada? <laughs> this is no question. Gucci or Prada? Gucci, 1,020 million percent. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci everything. I'm not a huge Prada fan. Um, I, I like some things. There's some things that I'm like, mm, yeah, they did that, they did that. But like in general, like to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go get Prada. No, that's not really my, my style. But yes, Gucci all the time. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Gucci. Number four, and that would be least liked fashion house and why <laughs> that's so funny it just came up least and i just said it least like least liked fashion house and why would be prada why um because i just don't um I, yeah, I just don't uh, relate to the aesthetic normally. Um, there are a couple of bits I do like. I do like like the shoes. You know, I have those Prada monolith boots. I'll put that video in the iCards as well when I unbox those. Um, but ultimately, like overall, Prada is just not my jam. I do not. My least like bag is that Prada reissue bag. I had it when I was like. I don't know, maybe a teenager or in my 20s or something like that. I had that bag back then. I remember all the knockoffs that everybody was doing. And it's just like, it was, it's a bag I would never get in my collection. I just don't, I just don't like it. Sorry to all the people that do love it and like it. That's good on you. I mean, that's great. Fantastic. But for me, it just doesn't match my aesthetic. So I don't really, uh, yeah. I mean, they do a couple of things that are nice, but it's very rare and few and far in between for me and for my style and what I like product would be uh, my least liked fashion house okay that was number four so we're going to number five bag you're loving right now oh the bag that I am obsessed with right now is my Fendi sunshine tote I cannot get enough of that I just I mean I just like touching it i like looking at it it's just such a great bag i it, i have not put it up yet and i've been back now from our holiday for like a week and a half or what have you and i still have it out it's still in rotation um for me it's mm, it's just such a pretty bag i love the color i love the handles um i love the gold accents it's just oh, it's all the things so that's the bag that i'm obsessed with right now in my collection at least yes i love it all right that was number one two three four five that was number five so now we're up to number six yes i have them all here and i'm trying to keep track so number six <laughs> so number six is bag you're liking right now hmm, so i guess that's the bag i'm loving so bag that i'm liking right now would be um oh gosh i don't know um maybe my palm springs mini in the reverse is a bag that i'm liking right now i mean it's just a great 
you know, pull out and do the things that you need to do kind of bag. If I have to run around, if I'm going out, if I'm, you know, I want something that's just small and cute and worry-free. So yeah, it would be the Palm Springs Mini, I guess. That would be the bag that I'm liking right now. Um, and that was number six. Seven says, Birkin or Kelly and why? Ooh. This is the question that I ask myself on a regular basis. Birkin or Kelly, Birkin or Kelly. And I've gone back and forth between the two because every time I think I have the set one in my head that I love, then I see someone with the opposite one. And I go, oh God, they just, oh, they just killed it. Oh my God. So, but ultimately for me, I think it would be the Birkin. If I had a choice and it was between the two, Ultimately, I think I would go for the Birkin over the Kelly. Um, I just probably now would be confused about which size I would want. I'm I'm like obsessed with the small, that baby Birkin. I think it's like in the 25. But I've always wanted that classic like 35 Birkin. So, ah, yeah, I don't know. But it would still be the Birkin. Birkin over Kelly. Birkin over Kelly, hands down. Pick number eight is... Let's see, it says, best designer accessory. Best designer accessory would be, um, best designer accessory. Hmm. I would say it would be an Hermes scarf. It's the best designer accessory. In that big, like, I think it's the 110 centimeter size, that big size, you can do so much with that scarf that it's a shawl, it's a top, it's a sarong, depending on your build and your shape, it could be a dress, you can do a head wrap with it, it is the best accessory, depending on the color palette that you choose, you literally can incorporate this thing into every season, every outfit, I mean, there's so much that you can do with an Hermes scarf, and the quality of how it's made, the colors, they're so vibrant they're beautiful it is a perfect accessory it's it's a universal gift you can give it to you know different genders of people it's not something that you know oh i'm not a scarf person that's okay but do you like blouses yes do you like <laughs> do you like head wraps maybe you know do you like tops and this and that like there's so much you can do with it you can make it a belt there's so many things um you know use it for travel it's just the best so I would say an Hermes scarf would be the best um, designer accessory. Okay, so number nine is bag you can't get out of your head. The bag that I can't get out of my head would be the, um, you guys can kill me, the Saint Laurent Lulu Puffer. I just keep thinking about it and I can't decide on a color. I've gone back and forth between like black on black. So you get like the black metal and the black leather because I don't really have a black bag. So I've gone back and forth about that. But then I see it in these beautiful colors. I've seen these lovely colors lately and I've like, oh, I've been saying I want to incorporate color into my wardrobe and into my collection. And then I'm like, wow, well, is the colors too trendy? Should I just go back to black? What have you? So because I could not land on a color, I have not pulled the trigger on the Lulu Puffer as yet, but I'm obsessed and I want it in the big size. I know it's all about the TBE, tiny bag energy, but I don't care. I want the big size, which is like that medium. I want the big one and I'm obsessed with it. Yes, it does kind of give me vibes like a Chanel 19. Um, I think it will, but it will give me the structure that I wanted out of the Chanel 19 that I didn't see when I tried it on. So that's why I think I'm so obsessed with that because the Chanel 19 would be like a close second to that Lulu Puffer. But I think the Lulu Puffer is going to hit the mark a little better than the Chanel 19 would for me. So the bag that I can't get out of my head right now is the Lulu Puffer, Saint Laurent Lulu Puffer in the medium size. So that was number nine. Down to the last one. Give it a good shake. <laughs> okay, number 10. Oh my goodness. All right, number 10 will be favorite designer homeware. Ooh, favorite designer homeware. Oh boy, hands down has to be Hermes. I mean, really like, 
really i mean i have children so obviously i'm not busting down any really like amazing homeware right now because my children have the grace of you know uh an elephant in you know the china closet right so um i'm not i'm not getting i have to be very careful what i bring into circulation they're still young they're a little bit older but they're still you know oops i'm sorry they're at that age you know oops i'm sorry i didn't realize that that was expensive or important so, you know and it's gone so um so yeah so i'm i'm kind of holding off on um upgrading into more homeware and more things of like that are really um pricey um because of the age of my children and where we you know live we just don't have that much room to separate them from those things we all like i don't have like you know i don't keep like spaces private for my children like everybody can go everywhere so it, it doesn't matter so for right now i've been like putting that on pause growing that collection i haven't really grown grown to my homeware collection um but if i when i do not if when i do definitely hermes will be uh on the list for sure the plates the the tableware is absolutely stunning um you know even some of the bedding the towels there's just so many things i would love to explore um with homewares a, a real uh, a second place like runner-up also would be off-white um my son is obsessed with everything off-white you know he would love to do his entire room in off-white if i let him but you know like i said they're in that oops i'm sorry stage so that's not where he's going to be getting his things for his home for his room not right now but um you know maybe once he gets a little bit older or maybe when he's in high school or something maybe um we may start investing in that so off-white would be like a, a close second but um you know for my personal taste and my aesthetic it would definitely be a maze okay all right and i think that is it that was the 10 questions from the raffle who do i tag i don't even know if this tag is still going on so if you feel like doing it and you're like me and you have a channel and you just you want to do it because it looks like it was fun go for it do it whatever you could say i tagged you i don't care <laughs> I'm, I'm good with it either way or not you don't have to do it so i don't know if the tag is still even in circulation i just thought it was something cool and fun to do i like the questions i like the whole raffle concept and i wanted to bring out my little novelty scott box um to play so i was like yes i love this this is super fun and it also it helps like for anyone new joining my channel who doesn't really know me that well or know what i like or my style or what have you to get to know me a little bit better as well so i thought it was fun so who do i tag i tag anyone who wants to do it and if you don't that's okay too but anyway that's it for me nieces nephews fellow aunties don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification so you know when auntie red is in here doing these tags i haven't done a tag video in a minute so this is like you know, I brought, I brought it out of the ar archives for us this time around. So if you're like, if you like tags, like I said, tag videos, I'll pop in the playlist that I had um, with some tag videos I've done in the past. But yeah, if you want to see more of these, let me know. If you know a tag video that you think would be cool and you want me to try it out, you can pop it in the comments or what have you. I'm, I'm super open to trying that out. So, but that's it for me. And I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>